Okay, we're done with this presentation, so we're into the application layer. And, oh, this is, for a lot of people, the interesting part. Well, I mean, let's face it, for the majority of the population, this is the only part they ever see. The actual application, the interface of the application is the only thing that they ever really comprehend in terms of what's going on with all the systems and machines and networks and everything else. However, for those of us in security, we have to pay attention to everything. Everything underneath. And we have to pay attention to specialized parts. And so, uh, one of the factors here at the application layer is this is really the layer where you can truly say that you have or can have end-to-end -end security. Because at the other lower layers, there is still that possibility as the as the data is going down through the stack and up through the stack, if you've got end-to-end -end encryption happening at the network layer, you, you have the traversing of the transport, the session, the presentation layer, the gaps between those layers from network to application where it's possible that there's a vulnerability that somebody can mount an attack somebody can exploit some vulnerability or implementation flaw or just plain old carelessness this you may think is a distinction without a difference but uh, really it's not um, even though this layer traversal is going to be happening by and large on your own machine it still means there are points points of vulnerability multiple points of vulnerability so uh, just bear it in mind this is you know why we say you cannot guarantee 100 percent security uh, you just you've got so many situations so many possibilities so many uh, areas to consider and points that are probably not fully secured that you have to pay attention to. And that's just in terms of the unintentional uh, vulnerabilities. As I say, um, this is the point at which it's possible to have end-to-end -end encryption. But an awful lot of people these days are claiming end-to-end -end security, which really isn't end-to-end. -end. Uh, for example, I, I have no secret inside knowledge, and I cannot uh, test this, and um, I suppose that some uh, some could, um, but it would take an, a, a, you know, a fair amount of work uh, to determine this, and that is, uh, 
the claim of end-to-end -end encryption in the Zoom conferencing system, uh, video conferencing um, for the most part. But, uh, um, I mean, uh, these types of things are being expanded widely and all, wildly in all directions. Um, and additional functions and features, and they're now um, uh, more broadly referred to as collaborative software systems. Um, you're supposed to be able to do everything that an office would do on these systems. But, you know, let's, let's just simplify it to the point of, okay, it's video conferencing, and they claim end-to-end um, -end encryption. That you can be secure, uh, you don't have to worry, it is end-to-end -end encrypted. I don't think so. I very strongly suspect. I mean, it could be done. It, it could be um, a situation uh, using IGMP, uh, Internet Group Management Protocol. Um, you know, that's perfectly, perfectly feasible uh, to, to do that. But I, I, well, what I suspect is happening is you are encrypted between you as the client and Zoom as the server. And then the person that you are talking to, or multiple parties that you are talking to, again, their connection from their end to Zoom as the server is encrypted. But it's not necessarily encrypted uh, at the server. It probably has to be decrypted so that they can provide the feeds, so that they can manage the calls. And so, you know, it is possible. I'm not saying they do it, but it is possible to mount a man-in-the-middle attack because the, the company is managing this and, and is doing uh, all of the the management, all of the negotiating of session keys, and, and is doing that individually with everybody that they are uh, providing services to. So, um, it, you know, the, as I say, at the application layer, it is possible to do end-to-end -end encryption, but it is also possible to provide some marketing speak claiming end-to-end -end encryption when you are not actually providing it.